In today's lesson, we are going to look at something that's very useful, especially if you're buying things, because we're going to look at discounts and markups. We're going to start with discounts first. So let's say you want to buy something that's $29, and you see that it's on sale for 30% off. Now we can find out how cheap it's going to be or how much less it's going to be off the original price by first doing a multiplication problem and then doing a subtraction problem and it's really easy to do. So I'm going to set up my problem first. We're being told that we're getting a sale price of 30% off of the original price which was $29. So in other words, the same as saying 30% and it's going to be 30% of $29. And I want to find out what 30% of 29 is because that's what I'm going to subtract from this price. So we set this up as a multiplication problem. We're going to take our percentage and turn it into a decimal by adding a decimal first and then moving it two places to the left, one, two. So that 30% now becomes 0 0.30 or 30 hundredths, and I want to multiply that by 29. So we can set up that multiplication problem, 29 times 0 0.30. Now we know it's going to be a lot easier to do 29 times 30, so we can take our decimal out, and just remember that it has to go back into our final answer two places. So now we're just going to want to do 29 times 30, if I do that problem, I should get 870, but my decimal has to go in two places, so I'm going to go one, two places here. So now it looks like $8.70, 8.70. So if 30% of $29 is $8.70, I'm going to want to take this total and subtract it from the original price, and that's going to give us the sales price. So I have one more problem to set up. It's going to be $29, and now we're going to subtract the discount from it. And now after working this out, I'll come up with a total of $20 in 30 cents. So this will be the final price that we pay for this item after we take off our 30% discount. And remember the way we solve this is we take the percentage off, we turn it into a decimal, we multiply it by the original price. Whatever we get as an answer, we then subtract that from the original price and it gives us our new sales price of $20.30. In the next step we're going to look at what's called a markup. And a markup is when a store takes an item that they buy from a company and before they sell it to you, they do what's called marking up the price and they mark up the price because the store wants to make a profit off of the item that they sell to you. So if this product costs $57 and they want to mark it up 150%, we can find this markup price by turning this percentage into a decimal multiplying it by the original price, taking that number and then adding it to the original price. So it's really a lot like finding a discount, but instead of subtracting the number from the original price, we're going to add it to the original price. So our first step is to take 150% and we want to turn that into a decimal. And we do that by adding a decimal at the end and moving it two places. So we're going to go one, two, it now moves over here and we end up with this new number, 1.5. We then want to multiply that by 57. So I'm going to take 1.5 times 57. We know we can make life a lot easier if we take this decimal place over 1. And just remember that it's going to have to go back into our answer one place. So now what I'm really going to do is multiply 15 times 57, but when I get my answer, I want to put a decimal place back in, one to the left. And when we work this out, we get 855, but we have to remember to put a decimal place back in. 
So, so far if I'm thinking of money, it looks like it's $85, and if I have a five after the decimal, I know that's in the tenths place, so it's $85.50. It's not a big deal that we're adding the zero. We're just showing that this is 50 cents. So if we figured out that 150% of 57 is $85.50, what I want to do now is take this $85.50 and add it to our original price of $57. Then we're going to find out what the true markup price is. So let's do that. 57, and to make things easier, I'll put a decimal at the end of that and put two zeros in its place because it still says $57. And we want to add that to $85.50, which was our percentage from before. And now if we add this up, we end up with a total of $142.50. So now we have found our markup price. So if we think of this in real world terms, let's say that a store buys an item for $57 from the company that makes it. And then in order to make some profit, they mark it up by 150%. What that means for us, unfortunately, the consumer, is that we're going to end up paying a price of $142.50 for that item.